Okay, so how does bank angle affect the stalling speed of an airplane? So let's take a look here. We've got three different airplanes here. One wings level, zero degrees of bank, one in a 30 degree bank, and one in a 45 degree bank. So let's assume the airplanes all weigh the same. And I've got this green arrow I've drawn up here that represents the lift vector. And let's assume that the airplanes are all flying at the same speed. Let's say 65 knots is what they're gonna start at. And let's say at that speed, with that much airflow over the wings, they generate 2,000 pounds of lift. That's what that green arrow represents, 2,000 pounds of lift. And that lift acts straight up um, for the airplane with wings level. For the airplane in a 30 degree bank, that lift no longer acts straight up and it's tilted somewhat to the side. So that's still 2,000 pounds of lift. This green arrow here is still 2,000 pounds of lift, same amount as before, but the component of that lift that is acting vertically is no longer 2,000 pounds. Some of that lift is directed sideways, that's what causes the turn, and in a 30 degree bank, if the total lift is 2,000 pounds, the vertical component of it is about 1730 pounds. And in a 45 degree bank, that lift, that same 2,000 pounds of lift, is tilted even more to the side. So more of that lift is directed sideways, the airplane turns at a faster rate, but also the amount of that lift that is working to keep the airplane up is even less now. In a 45 degree bank, about 1,420 pounds of lift acting vertically. That's the vertical component of lift. Okay, so if we said all the airplanes weigh the same, they all weigh, let's say they weigh 2,000 pounds so that this airplane in level flight is just for maintaining its altitude. If they all weigh the same, when these two airplanes bank, they no longer have 2,000 pounds holding them up. So they would lose altitude because the weight would be more than the vertical component of lift if they didn't do something to increase the lift. So if they want to maintain altitude at the same speed, they're going to have to do something else, and that's going to be increase the angle of attack. When the, the angle of attack is increased, the wing produces more lift. So let's say here, starting at 65 knots, I'm just making these angle of attack numbers up, but let's say the wings level plane maintains its altitude with eight degree angle of attack. This airplane no longer has as much vertical, the vertical component of lift is less now than it was before, it's no longer the full 2,000 pounds. So it's gonna have to make up for that some other way, and that's gonna be by increasing the angle of attack, let's say 12 degrees. And that angle of attack is gonna have to be increased even more for the airplane in a 45 degree bank because its vertical component of lift is even less. So we're gonna have to increase that angle of attack Increasing that angle of attack is going to increase that total amount of lift that the wing is generating, and so the vertical component can come back up to what it was before. So, the planes have different angles of attack. The wings level plane is the smallest angle of attack, and with increasing bank angle to maintain altitude, an increasingly large angle of attack is necessary. So we know that we can increase lift by increasing angle of attack, but we also know that that only works up to a point that doesn't just go on forever. Eventually we reach the critical angle of attack, and that is when a stall happens. So let's take these three airplanes here and see what happens as they all start slowing down. So as they start slowing down, less air is flowing over the wing and the wing produces less lift, they're gonna lose altitude unless they do something. Again, let's say they increase the angle of attack to increase the amount of lift the wing's producing. So what's going to happen as they slow down and they start increasing that angle of attack to keep producing the same amount of lift, maintain altitude, well eventually, it can't go on forever, eventually they're going to hit the critical angle. So the key thing here is that they're starting from different angles of attack. They are not starting from the same angle of attack. So with the airplane in a 45 degree bank, 
And let's say for this airplane, the critical angle of attack is 20 degrees. And I'm just making this number up. And it started at 15. So as it slows down from 65 knots to 60 knots, that angle of attack is increasing 16, 17, 18, 19 to try and keep producing the same amount of lift with less airspeed. And eventually it's gonna hit a 20 degree angle of attack, our critical angle, and we're gonna have a stall. So in this example, the plane in the 45 degree bank gets down to 57 knots before it stalls, before it reaches that critical angle. Let's look at the plane in the 30 degree bank. It started at a slightly smaller angle of attack and 65 knots, and as it slows down, that angle of attack is gonna to have to increase 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, down to 60 knots, down to 55 knots, and at 52 knots, we hit the 20 degree angle of attack that the stall occurs at, all right? So a little bit slower, we made it a little bit slower before the 30 degree bank airplane stalled. And what happens with the wings level airplane? It started at the smallest angle of attack, eight degrees. So as it slows down, 65 knots, 60 knots, 55 knots, that angle of attack is increasing, but it has a lot more room to work with because it started much further from the critical angle. It started at a much smaller angle of attack. So it can slow down a lot more than the airplanes that were banked. So 55 knots, 50 knots, and in this example, at 48 knots, we finally get to that critical angle and the zero degree bank airplane stalls at 48 knots. So why does an airplane in a bank stall at a higher airspeed because it's got less, as it slows down, it has less angle of attack to play with. It's already started at a much higher angle of attack because it needs to make up for that loss of the vertical component of lift. So as you slow down, you don't have very far to go before you hit the critical angle and stall. Whereas when you're not in a turn at all wings level, you start from a much smaller angle of attack. So you can really slow down quite a bit and the angle of attack is going to be increasing and increasing and increasing, and you have a ways to go before you hit the critical angle. So that is why the stall speed increases in a turn.